I masturbate to fall asleep. Right. I masturbate because I'm bored. You know, like it, it's mm-hmm. so, so subjective yeah. and so impacted mm-hmm. by, like you were saying, our social networks, yeah. our cultural networks. Right. Like our familial networks. Our familiar, yeah, all yeah, these yeah, things, yeah. these social aspects. Right. Again, this is morality. Mm-hmm. This is not. Genetics, it, but it sounds like science. It sounds like science, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so my argument, okay. So I want to I want to legitimize this study in one in one way, okay? Uh, what what they're fi- what I think they're finding might have genetic links is compulsivity, okay? Compulsivity, not hypersexuality. Right. Okay. And this is the argument that that I, I make over and over again with people is, when, especially the sex addiction, the pro-sex addiction folks. Compulsivity can manifest itself in a number of ways. In overeating, in sex, in pornography use, in uh, uh, exercise. Um, there are countless ways in which compulsivity can manifest itself. Is it worthwhile to look for genetic links or genetic origins for compulsivity? I think so, because you might be able to reduce the suffering of people who are having a problem. Okay, Mm -hmm. But to say we might have found the genetic link to being a slut, being a slut (laughs) is irresponsible. Yeah.